that you are well today i would like to present you a lighting solution for um, a gym space as you can see in the 3d rendering uh, i have established the space uh, for the gym um, as well i was importing uh, the furniture um, and the equipment which uh, usually you find in the in the gym space uh, unfortunately as that looks evil um, doesn't have any f equipment um, for the gym space i had to i had to import it for different um, software and in addition when i established the lighting solution it took a while um, to to realize the the lighting solution or the lighting outcome so Please be aware of this when you import 3d files from other software into the looks and then you start the lighting calculation It might take um, more time or request more time to to have the lighting output But nevertheless, let me move forward. So the area of the gym is 72 square meters um, with a height of uh, 3 meters um, Before establishing the light solution I have chosen the space so we go for um educational building as a space and then the application we go for a sport hall gymnasium and swimming pools unfortunately i could not find any space um, dedicated for the gym um, and therefore i will work um, with this space as close as um, uh, the my 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 space uh, what I want to mention, the lux level is 300 lux. I think that's okay. We can go for work with this um, light level. Um, with the glare limitation, I would suggest to go for a uh, unify glare ratio below 19 or maximum 19. Uh, main reason is that uh, when you perform um, physical exercise or trainings into the gym, um, as you can see in the 3D rendering, um, on the following space we have um, equipments where the people uh, which are training uh, need to lay down on their back and face um, the ceiling and therefore the the artificial light uh, has an uh, definitely direct impact upon, uh, upon the visual uh, aspect so use luminaire which have a unified glare ratio below 19 and try to not exceed in the lumen output as well as high as um, let's say 3000 lumen ideally i would say 2700 that should be the maximum to to diminish the the um, uh, the light output from a single lighting fixture uh, as well i was using um, a color temperature of 4000 kelvin and <clears throat> I try to use uh, down lights and try to distribute them as uniform as possible into the space. So I prefer to have more uh, lighting feature into the space and have a better uniformity and also a lower, let's say, brightness from each luminaire to avoid any uh, visual discomfort for the people which are <clears throat> having the training. Let's move on to the 2D and Let's talk about the lighting features so i have used this downlight as you can see it has a lumen output of 2535 lumen um very good efficacy and also uh, the lumen uh, the cct you see it's um 4000 kelvin and running the lighting calculation now um I will move on on the results actually uh, which i have done already in in advance uh, so you can see that we have 400 the light level uh, lux and also the uniformity on 0.41 so we have a green so it's entire than what is the target which is the 300 lux and as i said be careful when you choose your lighting fixtures related to the UGR and lumen output because uh, it's very important that the people which are working into the gym uh, they are not disturbed by the artificial light 
and in addition um, you don't use i would say a warm color like a 2700 or 3000 because usually uh, people which are um, go to gym need to be focused train um one other aspect um which you'll find in the the gym is also that you can see mirrors on on the wall um the people like to which are conducting trainings in this kind of uh, space they like to watch themselves i guess just to be more motivated and to push themselves to to the limit uh in their let's say bodybuilding so yeah that's one of the solution i would say if you you can use a second option i would recommend you also six by six luminaire so which is like typical office and there you can you can you can use it also for this space now we can see also the light distribution curve is not the most let's say wide but also narrow so it's a medium wide uh, uh beam but it's it's good enough for this for this space if you move on the show false colors we should see a very good uniformity all around the work space so if you go with the mouse we see that we have a 421 lux 380 278 so a good uniformity over all of the of the of the space and yeah um, next I want to to do also a daylight um, simulation in the in the next video to to check the apport of the natural light um, for this space if you don't know how to do that um, subscribe to my channel um, and uh, in next video I will um, I will do a calculation related to the natural light so thanks for watching this video if you have any question please um, add your comments um, below this video um, if you did not subscribe yet to my channel please subscribe give a like um, share the video with uh, your colleagues or if someone needs support yeah just let me know any questions are more than welcome and have a good day goodbye